Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. The big picture made by Papa's Accelo Pictures Corporation is finished. Finished at the cost of $250,000. Today is the day of the sneak preview, and we find Mama and Papa in their Hollywood apartment. Mama is speaking. Papa? Jake, what are you doing? Sitting here with my head in my hand. I ain't going to hide, so you're not having to hide your eyes. You got to get dressed? Why do I have to get dressed to go to my own funeral? You ain't dead, Papa, so why should you be talking like that? I ain't dead, Mama, so that they should bury me. But inside... Inside here, I'm buried dead. You ate something for lunch that wasn't good for you. <laughs> I didn't eat any lunch. Uh-huh. Then that's what's wrong with you, Jake. You shouldn't try to go around with a empty stomach. Harold and Sidney have gone around for years with empty heads. So why shouldn't I try it with an empty stomach? Uh-huh. Now I see the lightning. You are worried about the picture. Mama. Mama, the picture doesn't mean a thing. I'm worried about the... the... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm worried about the... 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 <laughs> Look, Mom, I can't even say it. You are worried about the $250,000. Oh, Becky, the may you can say that. I can say it without batting an eyebrow. <laughs> an eyelash, Mom, an eyelash. This ain't the time to scribble over retail. You should be getting dressed to go to the sneaker review. <laughs> Maybe I will sneak out of town when it's over. Why should you be doing that? Why? Why? Huh? <laughs> Mama, I'll tell you. I'll have to sneak out of town and hide in the hills because, because a lot of people back in New York who knew Jacob Bloom... That's me, Mama. Yeah, a lot of people back in New York who knew me when I was in the knee pants business will be wondering if I'm Meshiga. They'll hear that I have spent... Uh, they'll hear that I have spent... Uh, $250,000. Yeah. Yeah, Mama, what you said. That much money on a picture. And nobody knows if it's good or not. So what if they hear about it? So what? Yeah. <laughs> so what, she asked. Like, like spending that much money is just like buying maybe a stick of, of, of chewing gum. Becky, do you know how much money that is? It ain't peanuts, Yasha. But you... Mama, how could you be joking at a time like this? I'm not joking, Jake. I was never more serial in my life. I was just trying to cheer you up. <laughs> well, you can't do it by telling me that that much money ain't peanuts. Mm -hmm. What should I do then? Crack jokes like a radio comedian? <laughs> Nothing could make me laugh. Papa. Jake. Yeah, Mama? I think that you are looking at this from the wrong way. From the wrong way? Mama, there's only one way to look at that much money. Look it straight in the face. Wait a minute, Papa. I'm telling you something. There's a very old adverb that says nothing rendered is nothing gained. So? So, so? So, so. It's like this. Sure. So. Maybe a lot of people back in New York will think that you're gone crazy for spending that much money. They'll think, huh? But maybe they will think, too, that Jake Bloom is willing to take a chance. They will say, look, Jake Bloom, he's a brave man. Who says I am? Never mind. If the picture's good, if a lot of people like it, then nobody will think you're crazy. Oh, no. They'll think you're very smart. Oh, they'll think I'm smart, huh? <laughs> and if the picture ain't good, what then? Then they will say that you took a chance and it flipped. Flopped. Flipped, flopped. What's the difference? Uh, <laughs> I ain't got time to figure that one out. Oh, and please, Mama, leave me alone. I just want to sit here and hold my head in my hands. Jake, you got to get ready to face the band. I don't want to go. You got to go. Is there a law? There ain't a law. All right, so I'll stay home and suffer here. 
Yeah, it's much more comfortable. Papa, you will go along. Sarah and Sydney will be here in a few minutes, and we are going with them. Sydney. Sydney. That, that, that. Sydney. In New York, he was doing things to the knee pants business. But that was a business I could understand. But out here, out here in the movie business. I didn't know what he was going to do, so I couldn't stop him. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Anybody who spends to, to that much money can't be right. Rick, listen to me. Stevie and Harold is young. Yeah. They have got their fingers on the pulse of the people. You mean the pulse? They got their fingers on my purse. So maybe they're right and they know what they're doing. So maybe. So you should get dressed and wear the tuxedo. <laughs> A stiff shirt, I gotta wear to torture myself more. So you will look nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people will walk past me and say, there is Jacob Bloom. Don't he look nice? And tomorrow they will say, didn't he look nice? Jake, you should be looking for the silver lining. I should be looking for our pawnbroker. Jake, stop talking foolish and get dressed. In just a little while, Sarah and Sydney will be here and you will be looking like a hobo. <laughs> I will look like one tomorrow, so I should be getting into practice. Becky, hmm? do you realize... Do you know that maybe all that money might be spent for nothing? Sure, sure, I know it, Jake. But you shouldn't be crying over upsetting the pushcart. I shouldn't, huh? You should take things as they're coming. <laughs> it's easy to say. So what if the picture ain't no good? Would you be killed for it? Would I be... <sighs> all right. All right. Rather than, than, than to try to figure you out, I'll even get dressed in my tuxedo. That's good, Papa, that's good. And hurry up so you end like a slow pipe when the children get here. <laughs> all right, Mama, all right. Uh... Papa... Papa, answer the door. That must be the children. <laughs> I shouldn't be knowing where it must be. It's, uh, you... Telegram from Mr. Yasha Blumenkoff. Huh? There ain't nobody here by that name. This is 1425 Euclid Avenue, ain't it? Well, maybe you got the wrong city. Did you say Yasha Blumenkoff? Yeah, yeah, that's the name. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I will take the telegram and I will give it to him when he comes in. What are you talking about, Papa? You Shh. are you... Sign here, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake, <laughs> what's the matter? Yeah, uh, it's a telegram. Oh, oh yeah, telegram. Papa, open it. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, uh, you oh, something is the matter. Mama, now, 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 don't get excited. I don't, know it. Don't get excited, please. Yeah. Uh, a telegram don't mean that something is wrong, Mama. Jake, are you going to open it? Uh, or are you going to stand over it in your hand like a statuary? My hand like a what? Uh, <laughs> never mind. I'll, I'll open it back here. I'll open it. Wait a minute. Open it all right. Well, go ahead. Open I, I'm open. Now, please don't rush me. What <laughs> does it say, Jake? Huh? Who's killed? I haven't even got time to open it. Give me time to read it and, and tell you. Oi. It's from Sydney. Sydney? He's left town. No, 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 he hasn't left town. The, the telegram says, Good luck to Yasha Blumikoff. Oh. Mm, that Slamil, oh. that dope. He spends 200 and... <laughs> you can't even say it now. He spends a lot of my money, and then he sends me a telegram about it. Well, Papa, that was nice to see it. It shows that he was thinking about yeah. me. <laughs> he was thinking about me, all right. Yasha Blumikoff. <laughs> oh, there he is, Papa. <laughs> I will open it, Mama. Papa, be careful. I will be careful, Mama, but I hope Sarah is standing well away from Look him. Look out, Papa. I will open oh, the door. <laughs> Greetings, yeah. everyone. <laughs> greetings, greetings, everyone. Look at him. <laughs> Just like he ain't got a care in the world. <laughs> Hello, Papa. Hi, Mom. Hello, darling. Hi, Come in. Come in and bed for Papa to get dressed. Oh, gosh, Pa, aren't you ready yet? No, I ain't ready yet. Sydney, what's the matter? You ain't got on a tuxedo. A tuxedo? What for, Ma? Oh, no, Ma. This is just a sneak preview. Shouldn't we get dressed up to see it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You see, Mama, I told you. <laughs> Even Sydney ain't gonna get dressed to go to our funeral. What are you talking about, Pa? Uh, close the door, Sarah, darling, dear. Now, come in and sit down. Papa will be ready in a little while. I'll make it snappy, will you, Pa? We haven't got a whole lot of time. What I'm going to see, we got a whole year. Gosh, Pa, you don't seem excited at all. Don't you realize what this is? Don't I realize what this is, she asks me. Don't I realize it, she asks. Sarah, you are asking me if I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... to 200 and... to... to... I can't say it. I'm going to a lot of money's worth of foolishness. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Pa. You don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I was never going to know. Gosh, Ma. Is he mad? Sarah, your papa's not mad. He's worried. He doesn't want to worry me, so he acts like he's mad. But underneath, he's just as excited as you or me or Sydney. Oh, this is a big thing, Ma. No company of our size has ever made a picture like this. Yeah, that's what he's worried about. Oh. Uh, Sydney, he's worried whether or not it will clack. Click. Click. Clack. Your papa's worried. Uh, Sydney? Yeah, Ma? Is it a good picture? It looked good to us. It looked good to you. Remember, Sydney, pictures is like a lot of other things. Huh? A man goes in a restaurant and he orders soup. He likes it. But another man comes in, he orders lattice because he don't like soup. So what's looking good to you? Maybe looking like a flippo to the other fellow. Oh, Ma, don't use slang. Sydney knows what I mean, don't you, Sydney? Oh, sure, I know, Ma. You're right as usual, but... 
Well, you see, Harold and I took a long chance on this picture. Yeah. If it clicks, then we've set up the Excello Pictures Corporation as a good company. Uh-huh. And if it doesn't click, well, we've set up ourselves as a couple of saps. Yeah, and Papa along with it. Oh, well, we can't blame it on Pa. You know, Harold and I will have to take the rap. Sidney, do you think Papa would let you do that alone? He's liking to look like he's mad at you, but underneath he thinks you're a very smart boy. Gee, Ma, does he really? Sometimes I wonder... Never mind, Sarah. I've known Papa a lot longer than you have. I know him like a magazine. Well, 250 grand is a lot of dough, Ma. You're telling Papa? Well, Ma, it isn't lost. Well, if the picture's a flop, it's lost. Sidney, don't say it so loud. Papa's got ears like a hawk. Eyes like a hawk, Ma. Sarah, even Papa don't hear with his eyes, but I know what I'm talking about. I wish Pa would hurry. I, I'm as jittery as a cat. Oh, jittery bugs I got for children. Sarah, I guess you are thinking that I am clam, huh? Though Mama, I yet... Mama! Where's the black tie? The black tie, Papa? Wear any one, Pa. You don't want to wear a black tie, Pa. I know what I want to wear. I want to wear a black tie. I got a good reason for doing it. Where is it, Mama? It's in the top drawer, Papa. I put it there. All right, all right. I know why I'm wanting to wear a black tie. Oh, gee, why does he have to act that way? Oh, gosh, it's almost 7.30. We got to get going in a minute. Sidney, be patient. Papa won't take long to tie his tie because he knows that I will tie it all over again for him a little later. Uh, hurry up, Papa. Is it taking you all night to put on your tie? I, I have to make the knot big because the other part is wrinkled. Let's see. It looks very nice, Papa. Sure, you look great, Pa. Well, I guess we're all set, aren't we? Yeah. All we need now is a little very slow music. <laughs> dancing he wants to do. No, I don't feel like dancing. No, no. Are we going to go or are we going to stand here all night? Okay, let's go. Come on, Ma. Yeah, darling. Yeah. Come on, Papa. Uh, uh, Mama, you go ahead with Sarah. Sydney and I lock the doors. All right, Jack. But hurry. Come on, Sarah. Don't be standing there like a dumb uh, I'll turn out the lights, Pa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sydney. Yeah? Look, Sydney. I want you to tell me. What do you think of the picture? Oh, you know what I think of it, Pa. Yeah. Uh, Sydney, if we lose all that money, if the picture ain't good, you, you know what it'll mean. Yeah, I, I know, Pa. <laughs> Sydney, I'm going to tell you something. But if you tell anybody else that I told you, I won't break your neck. What is it, Pa? Now, look, Sydney, I, I think that you and Harold are very smart boys. Maybe you are doing something you shouldn't have done. Oh, now, Pa. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm only going to tell you that, that in case, that is, if the picture ain't no good, uh, we, will, we will spend another $250,000 to make a good one. 